Hello, welcome to this week's CMC Markets Currency Snapshot with myself, Jasper Lawler. This week we're going to be looking at the Aussie dollar. There's a few interesting things that have been happening around this. We've just come away from an RBA, Reserve Bank of Australia meeting, in which they decided to keep interest rates on hold. And obviously we've just not long come away from the Federal Reserve meeting in which they decided to keep interest rates on hold against expectations for many that they were going to hike interest rates for the first time in many years. So Australian interest rates are at rock bottom lows of 2%. That's the lowest on record for Australia. But then again, those in the US, they're down at close to 0%. So really, we should be expecting some Aussie dollar strength, but that's not been taking place because of expectations that the Reserve Bank of Australia are going to keep things low for a while, whereas the Federal Reserve are going in the opposite direction. That was the expectation. Those expectations have been dampened somewhat since the Fed didn't hike in September, and also with the following really disappointing jobs report that really just puts the question of a 2015 rate hike very much off the table. We could be looking at a rate hike from the Fed a lot later, and so that means dollar weakness and possibly Aussie dollar strength, and there's some support for this idea in the, in the Aussie dollar chart. So we're taking a multi-time frame approach to this. The Aussie dollar has been on a decline for quite a while now. So if we stretch out to this, uh, this monthly chart here, we can see it's the, the 0.7 level. That's the big round number that seems to be stalling this decline at the moment. Now that actually corresponds with this rising trend line which connects these 2001 and 2008 lows. And we're, we're right in that vicinity. We've actually dipped a little bit below it. But we're pushing back above it right as we speak. Now, dropping down onto the daily time frame chart, you can see that uh, we've got a bit of a double bottom forming here. So the lows are around 0.69. The neckline of this potential pattern is 0.72. So a breakthrough there corresponds with this longer term looking support and, and could catalyze a move back above that long term rising trend line that we discussed and potentially a change in trend for the Aussie dollar. So that's it for this week's CMC Markets currency snapshot. We're looking at the Aussie dollar, obviously. The main focus here is just the, the Federal Reserve for the most part, but also any antics from the Reserve Bank of Australia. And of course, let's look out for that potential breakout from the 0.72 level on Aussie dollar. Mm -hmm.